Peace be to you, dear brothers and sisters. In today's Gospel, Jesus says a parable, the parable of two sons. The father of two sons said to one of the sons, Go to my vineyard. And he outrightly refused the order of the father, saying that he will not go. And after some time, he made himself converted and went to the vineyard. And he said the same thing to the second son. And immediately he said that he would go. But after some days, he did not go. He became disobedient. The, these acts of two sons were compared to the people who were at the time of Jesus. There were publicans and sinners, especially the sinful women. These people, they were disobedient at the commandment of God and at the preaching of John the Baptist and to the discourses of our Lord, they got converted and turned back. But those people who call themselves as righteous, as the religious leaders, big people, they called themselves that they, are, they were blessed by God. They accepted the word of God from John the Baptist. But when the Lord came, the Messiah preached they did not accept. They became disobedient and not submissive. Out of these two, the first ones were the worthy people to enter into the kingdom of God. Dear brothers and sisters, it was the thinking among the Jews during the Jesus time that those people who call themselves righteous, following laws meticulously, and they claimed themselves that they were the ones who were blessed by God. And they called all the publicans and sinful men, sinful women and men, as cursed people by God. Jesus gives an opposite view to their thinking, saying that it is not by appearance one becomes worthy before the kingdom of God. It is by following the law and converting the heart itself. It is not outwardly following the law, but inwardly following the law of God with a sincere and contrite heart. The law of God is given to us. The law of God is given to us, preached to us. And how do we respond to the words of God? Whether do we respond like the righteous people calling themselves as righteous the religious community of Jesus' time? Or do we respond like the publicans and sinful women? That we have to think a while and reflect whether we follow the law of God. First of all, we outrightly say no and as they move on, shall we follow it? Or in, at first time we say, I am following, 
and as they move on we simply neglect the law of god the word of god is preached at, at our doorsteps the mercy of god is poured on our hearts the mercy of god is there within our reach how do we retain the mercy of god our church has given so many spiritual exercises to retain the spiritual and mercy of god first one daily reading the word of god and reflecting over it and daily visit to the blessed sacrament participating in the holy mass at least in this pandemic time we must prayerfully watch the mass also daily rosary ejaculatory prayer frequent making examination of conscience frequent making confessions these are all the riches of the church given to us to retain our 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 riches to retain the mercy of god that is poured on us the mercy of god is poured on us every time let us devise our own ways and means to retain this so that we may be worthy people to enter the kingdom of god let us pray heavenly father we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us lord thank you lord for for preaching the word of god to us the word of god is at our doorstep help us to realize the grace of god that is continuously poured on us lord through the prayers and spiritual exercises we may retain the greatest gift of the word of god as the sinful and public persons publicans we may come back to the lord never we imitate those religious people who call themselves as righteous but as they move on they throw off all the righteous things help us to be righteous starting from the day one till the end of our time we ask this through christ our lord amen